So welcome to one of our mending tips. I'll just put my sleeves up. Certainly mean business with this one. This is again going to be a difficult one to see, but I can only demonstrate it with what I've got. Now this is a problem that I get quite often, um, and that is the seam on a coat given. Um, it's a wool coat um, and the fold in the seam stays pretty much in place and that will help with what the way that we're going to mend this. So you want thread that's going to match. Uh, black on black is going to make it quite difficult to see but I'm hoping it will help. Just make need to get the right needle. There we go. So I'm going to thread the needle up and I'm going to put a knot in one end. Now to be honest this fabric is quite forgiving doing something like this so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So what you need to do is just to rearrange your garment so that you're able just to hold that seam together. You see here some of the threads where it's come undone, just pull those so it pulls that seam back together again and just before the end of that one, it might take a little bit, just come from underneath just a couple of strands of the fabric and I'm just going to make sure that the knot is down underneath. So there's a tail there, just poke that down with my needle and I'm just going to hold those edges like that together and I'm just going to slide along the seam at the most half, half a centimetre either side What will happen is those little bars going across are going to pull that together and you're going to have an almost invisible mend. So just all the way along, just a few stitches going from one side to the other. You just want to make sure as you're going along you're keeping those edges together. There we are. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I get to the end. And every few stitches or so I'm just going to make sure that it's still all lined up so that it will lay flat when it's done. Because it's quite thick fabric in places it can feel quite tough so just ease your needle through, just take your time. You don't want to be pushing your end of your needle through your finger. And yes I've done that before. So nearly finished. And just as it comes here, you're going to be going almost into that seam where it meets the sleeve there. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just coming into the seam there. And that's where I'm going to be finishing off. Just pull that firmly to make sure it's all closed. And I'm just going to just be taking a couple of stitches of thread, form a loop, I'm going to knot it. But then I'm going to come back down, slide my needle down to where it underneath where the two seams meet by the edge of the sleeve there and I'm just going to pick up a couple of stitches there from either side and I'm going to put a knot in there as well pull that and then I'm going to slide my needle down underneath the fabric down a couple of centimetres and I'm going to pull it up through the right way I'm just going to push that fabric back just a little bit so I can cut the thread loose and when I let go the end will be back underneath and as you can see we've now got a seam that's fixed and you can't see where the join is so that's handy not only for coat seams any seams that have got a hole in that's the way that you do them and sew them up together